What's going on you guys? Welcome Whoa. back to the channel. So in today's vlog, we actually got a very, very exciting install today, you guys. Something that uh, I've been kind of mentioning to you guys, but kind of trying to keep it under wraps. So pretty exciting. We have one out of three of these ever made for the Panda White Body Kit, you guys. One person that has it is Ken Gushi. Another person, I can't say, but I am the third person that currently has this part right here. So I'm at the big dog Sam's house. And we currently have a couple projects going on. So we have this install going on, and we also have this other project going on over here. So this is a sheet of carbon fiber, which is very, very high quality carbon fiber. And we have these parts right here. So what I wanted to do, and something that I've seen Kangushi had on his car, is he had all those small little, you know, parts right here on the on the panda white body. He had those in carbon fiber so that's something that I thought was super freaking cool and I thought man if I only we could have that for our car so shout out to Sam for allowing me to kind of come by and do this at his house like I said this is one of three big shout out to APR Lewis for making that one happen and hitting me up to do that so right now we're currently taking off all the parts we're lining it up on the sheet of carbon fiber and then we're gonna go ahead and take this off and see what this looks like as well so let me go ahead take off these parts put them over here and then we'll do the uh unwrapping thanks latte thanks for the help <laughs> all right guys so ran into a slight issue from the last time we had taken off the kit we got the majority of the pieces off and we kind of got them all lined up right here so we know how much we're actually going to need. So we still need to make our outlines and stuff like that. But the issue that we're running into or we ran into is this bolt right here is freaking stripped. And so we kind of had to take off the wheel to kind of really get like back here. Like it's already like placed right here, right? It doesn't have like a washer and then like that would bolt up to the bolt. It actually has like, I don't know if you guys can see in here, but these right here, you can leave those and just screw them in and screw them out. So that way you don't have to deal with the whole back end of a washer or whatever. But if we can kind of get this out, we basically would have to go that route of the washer being on the back of one of these bolts right here. So we're kind of working that issue right here, but we're trying not to like waste so much time on that. But look at how good this freaking part is look at oh my god so clearly we obviously still need to make our own holes i need to take off the pandem oem splitter over here and kind of mock up where we need to make our holes over here but damn this looks so good and then this right here on the end is even carbon fiber as well which is so freaking sick to me this looks really great like look at the weaves and everything like sheesh and then we even got the APR symbol right here that's a nice little plating and then boom this is gonna show out in the front which is gonna be really freaking sick right now I'm gonna go ahead and probably mark these up so that way we can kind of uh, see where we're at and uh, have the outlines we already kind of ran into you know that slight issue of that bolt being stripped and it's funny right like something as small as one bolt being stripped kind of is messing up the whole thing kind of you know and uh, it always kind of happens when you're working on your car one small thing like makes it a big thing are right, you guys so we got everything lined up here I know it's a little bit hard to see got my cutting tool here so we also figured out what we're gonna do about that being uh, stuck in there I had called David and kind of mentioned to him what was going on and he said there wasn't gonna be like a fix that I can personally do, so I'm definitely gonna have to take it to him. So, big shout out to David for always kind of pulling through at last minute because uh, I, I definitely do hit him up when I run into something and uh, I know he has other stuff going on, so I appreciate that he kind of like really takes me in when I know he's busy. So let's go ahead and let's get the cutting. Alright guys, so after a little while and a bunch of batteries dying and us trying to figure us uh, other things out, we got them all cut out. So right now we're kind of just working on getting it, you know, dremeled and like trimmed uh, so that way it's not all like rough on the edges. Um, I still have maybe like 
two like three pieces I still need to cut out right here but like I said we're currently waiting for the batteries to charge and then we have the small ones so obviously we still need to make the holes and everything in these but I'm gonna let David do that because uh, I don't want to make the wrong holes or do something wrong and then he'll probably end up uh, getting mad at me that why didn't I just wait for him to do it uh, that's happened a couple times more than once for sure so that is exactly why we are also waiting for the uh, front splitter as well but uh, for the most part uh, it's, it's, it's actually all coming together aside from the fact that we had this mishap happen right here uh, yeah it should be looking good so trying to get ready for this Saturday uh, at the drift night at the Irwindale Speedway if you guys have been keeping up on the vlogs or keeping up on my social media definitely I'm going to be having a meet and greet at the Irwindale Speedway freaking June 24th you guys it's gonna be the first time I ever do a meet and greet so I definitely had printed out some posters for you guys for like the, I printed out like I don't know like 25 posters for the first 25 people who show up come by show some love and say what's up at the meet and greet Ooh, ooh. I feel like we need an RX-7 in our lives. Sam, Sam is definitely promoting it. <laughs> All right guys, so it is a couple days later and we're here picking up the 86 and damn, look how good this freaking looks, you guys. Jeez, the APR lip. Y'all, it looks so freaking good. And you know what I noticed is that this actually sits a little bit like lower than the other lip because I, I feel like the other lip was kind of coming up just a slight little bit. But yeah, it looks so much better. And then we got the more thicker rods on there as well, along with getting this strip bolt fixed. Now, obviously we have like slight damage here from when we were trying to take off the uh, the head of the bulb and it was stuck because we couldn't take this off. But it's okay because we have a plan for that. Obviously we have the carbon fiber parts. So that's one thing I did wanted to mention. So David kind of looked at the parts and uh, well, he said that when you're cutting carbon, kind of need to have like one smooth cut when you're cutting carbon. So because um, I had made multiple kind of cuts and it wasn't the best i guess you can say uh he wanted to kind of redo it i'm pretty sure he will do way cleaner of a job than i can but definitely we're gonna be still be getting that done i'm just super super glad that they were able to kind of get this done before the import expo drift night event not too sure if i'm going to kind of keep this video going up until we get those uh other canard pieces into carbon fiber reason being is because david wanted to kind of personally do it himself and he actually had an emergency medical issue i just would really rather have him you know rest up and kind of you know get better and uh you know for him to kind of come back you know strong his health is way more important you know what i mean so i'm definitely very very happy that he was actually able to kind of get the guys here at Komodo to kind of get this done so big shout out to mike and big shout out to all the guys here at Komodo. i really appreciate you guys even when i come uh super last minute they kind of take me in and they really handle it and they kind of get me right so thank you guys so much if any of you guys are watching this right now i really appreciate each and every one of you let's go ahead and get this car home and then we'll see what's next Well, you guys know what time it is. It is the Irwindale Speedway Drift Night event from Import Expo. So definitely we are running late like we always are, you guys. Honestly, we were shaving down some good time on the freeway, but uh, this traffic is so not for us right now. They don't want us to get there on time, but uh, good thing the exit is right here and uh, the boys are, should be at the meetup spot right now. We got everybody here. They're legit, we're just waiting on me. You guys, I live so freaking far, man. Sometimes, you know, my time management just, uh, it's not it. <laughs> but we're here, we're rolling in. What up, beautiful? Hey, <laughs> met at the perfect time on the freeway. No, dude, I was just driving so slow. <laughs> I got it, it's about to die again. 
Oh, no way. Yeah, I have the engine check light on. Yeah? I made it. Yeah, straight up. That's what counts. <laughs> Hell yeah. Let's hey, we'll do, it, we'll do with it after. Hell yeah. <laughs> Hi, sweetie. How you doing? I'm well. How about yourself, baby? I'm all right. Good. All right, straight ahead. Make a left at the opening. Thank you. You're welcome, love. All right, so we're in now. Yes, sir. Let's go, James. Sound dog. Yes, sir, baby. Look my dude Nate doing his thing. What's up, Nate? What's up, dog? Oh yeah. How you doing, man? Great, just filming. Yeah, getting some yeah. good shit. <laughs> I am. How you doing, dog? Good? Hell yeah, good, you? Good, good, good. Busy, huh? <laughs> yeah, I know, man. Sorry, dude. Oh, there you go, dog. Hey, man. What's your name, man? Jerry. Jerry? That's man. That's the seventh time you bro. We can ask Brent to give you a ride along ticket. Hey, what about the heart? <laughs> you want a heart? I'll give it a kiss, too, dog, if you want. I'm like, the hearts are extra, bro. This for you? All right, you guys, so we're all set up here at the Import Expo Drift 9 booth along with all these other awesome influencers. We got Tyler here. We also got my dude Panda Bunny 86. We got all these FD over here, you guys. So I've already been passing out a couple posters to some of you guys that have been coming and showing some love. I truly appreciate it, you guys. Thank you guys so freaking much. Uh, the show, show so far has been great, so I'll be here for a little bit longer, passing out some more posters to whoever pulls up. And then we're, let's go around and see what else we got. So we just got gifted this energy drink from Prime, you guys. Big shout out to Prime. I'm gonna try this out, be my first time trying it out. So thank you guys, appreciate you. Oh, oh, you got the cord? You got the pop cord? Man, that shit popping right now. Two of them. <laughs> All right, y'all, so uh, we're gonna go on our very, very first ride line. Never done nothing like this, but uh, a lot of drifting going on, so uh, it's gonna be an experience for sure. <laughs> Are you ready? Yeah. Literally my first time ever, dude. Sick, dude. Yeah, I'm glad you got to come along. What's your name, dude? I'm Jake. Jake? Yeah. Desmond Simmons. Nice to meet you, man. Nice to meet you, man. Are you ready? Hell yeah. Stop, no way. Oh, not <laughs> my dude. My dude wall tapping? Hell yeah. Oh, yeah, dude. oh, oh my no. gosh. That's what's up, dude. Oh my gosh. That was great. That was my first time point of view, like getting to see like drifting and stuff. Yeah, so dude, I'm glad. Yeah, I was tight, man. Big shout out to Jake over here, man. Appreciate you. <laughs> God damn, oh, man. oh my gosh, it was crazy, yo. I need to see. I think we need a tea. So I found some time to kind of get away from all the madness. I, I legit haven't really had any time to really get content for you guys in terms of like, you know, uh, cars that had to come through. But every time we come to Irwindale, I like that, you know, obviously their parking lot is super big and like some of the people that are not necessarily in the show or whatever, just more like spectators, we get to find like some pretty cool cars out here. So one car, I did get to find. Hey, that's what's up, man. So some cars that we do get to find are out here. Actually, I know the owner of the Supra. His name is Hugo. Pretty clean, my boy. But look what I found over here. So BRZ Low. I see you. Got some work motions. All right. It's nice. I see you got the single exit exhaust in the back too. Not too much done to it, but still mainly stock. Nice duck bill. And then, uh, I don't know what exhaust this is. Oh, we got a Gretti exhaust. All right, that's pretty cool. That's exactly what we wanted when we first had uh, the first version of uh, the 86. Now, look at my boy's color. Jeez, shining. I see you, Hugo, on those work wheels. Chrome, baby. That is nice, man. Let's go see what else we can find. I had to come show my boys, Johnny, some love. 
I see you, my dude's got a new rap coming. I've had this on the vlog before, you guys, but we want to come show some love, because my boy always shows love to me, so. Uh, he actually just got his supercharged. Man, I want to hear how this thing sounds now. Deep voice. Now, ride along made me really want one, that's for sure. Okay, I see you with the full carbon fiber. I think I've seen this at SEMA. Probably, considering there's not many freaking full carbon fiber CAs out there. And that's Skyline. Got the trophy too, that's what's up. This thing is super clean. I love this so much. I want that so bad for the 86. Whenever we do the next thing. Look at these wheels, man. Oh my god, it's so crazy. Whoa, whoa, never seen that before. Okay, some GT3 mirrors. Is that sequential? Yo, this is so clean. Okay, with the carbon fiber right here. That's dope. Alright, so obviously, y'all seen James Evo in the last video. We got these nice older gens out here. Evo 9. Okay, we'll see you in the fast part. These are dope, man. I just, wow, I'm always so bad. I still want my Evo 5, though. Not gonna lie, I still want my Evo 5. It's crazy because the Evo 3s are actually more expensive. I've yet to get somewhat of a montage or some of the action that's kind of going on in the burn box so let's go ahead and uh try to get some content and see what's going on over here in the burn box anything coming to events man but it's super dope that we're able to win oh what sheesh my boy's a winner dog Damn, bro. that's right my boy so like i said you guys never expect anything but it's always cool to get shown some love so i really appreciate everybody that came out and showed some love today i hope that the people that took the posters i hope you guys really like the posters best of show right there baby Let's <laughs> see. There you go. Oh, shit, <laughs> oh yeah, a little bit, a little yeah, bit a little bit bigger, right? So we all ended up getting the trophy, baby. Look at that. Team gifted. 